Hey everyone, I have potentially the largest rumor slash leak we've maybe ever reported at this channel and we've talked about a lot of stuff over the years and we'll probably talk about a lot of stuff moving forward and I think with this we probably can end our rumor slash leaks for the week and actually focus on some other stuff that might be announced such as sales and other things heading into Christmas uh, which by the way Merry Christmas everyone if you celebrate it this week I know I do I bet I got a special little get up for you guys later this week to celebrate that's gonna be fun can't wait to make that video but today I need to end today by giving you guys a bunch of information on a potential leak and why we should be believing this or at least giving it a thought, maybe a little bit of credence. You guys let me know what you think when we get to it. Before we do, I gotta remind you, we are giving away three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus. To enter, head down to the description or the pinned comment and click on that viral sweep link. And I wish everybody luck with that. All right, folks, without further ado, I'm gonna grab this phone and we're gonna bust out our notes here because this is long, lots of tweets, lots of things to get through. And we are talking about a new batch of leaks, so potential leaks or rumors here. Um, Marco Maro and you might be going why do I recognize that name well I did a video this morning about how he said a next generation switch will be coming in 2023 along with a couple launch game ideas and a lot of people down in the comments were like man what's more context why should we even take anything this guy says as credence well this is why what you see here is a bunch of tweets from 2020 talking about things that were going to happen in 2021 and 2022. And I didn't show these in that video because the context for this matters more for this one than it did for that one. And in there, he nailed things like the new Pikmin game, which ended up coming to phones. He ended up nailing an open world Kirby game that he said was gonna be delayed out in 2021. We now know it's coming early 2022. He nailed a new 2D Metroid game coming in 2021. He nailed a new Warrior game. He nailed Famicom Detective Club. He called Advance Wars. Technically, he talked about a new Donkey Kong game before the rest of the insiders did this year as well. That one isn't confirmed yet, but a lot of insiders, Emily Rogers and the rest, have said it's real, and he talked about it first last year. Um, and I think the, he nailed something else, WarioWare, or something like that so um, I don't know he nailed a bunch of stuff and because he got so much right and I dismissed this almost entirely last year I think we talked about it on a live stream but I never really gave it a lot of credence I just kind of felt like this is just somebody reaching for the stars and just pulling shit out of their ass well the bottom line is he got so much right that I can't in good conscience ignore what he said is happening now he did his yearly at this point info dump and my lord um, is there a lot in here? So first let's get into everything he says is happening in 2022. Uh, he's got a whole bunch of tweets. We're just going to kind of go in order that I found the tweets and we'll go from there. So he says the initial plans for 2022 are Pokemon Legends Arceus, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp, uh, some new casual IP, some Splatoon 3, Fire Emblem Echoes, Detective Pikachu, Zelda Wind Waker, or, or Twilight Princess, or both. Well, he clarifies this point later. Mario plus Rabbids 2, uh, Bayonetta three metroid prime we're talking about like the remake metroid prime not metroid prime 4 a new 2d donkey kong pokemon let's go sequels zelda breath of the wild sequel and a new monolith project i don't think there's going to be room for much more besides some finish games like style boutique yes it was still coming even though it had a 2021 release it's coming next year i believe and one eShop game from intelligent and sadly some delays can happen but he talks more nintendo is very happy with the sales of metroid dread and with two plus million in sale after two months they're planning to release some free dlc like a new difficulty mode at some point next year metroid prime remasters announcements are coming very soon since they want to keep the momentum for the franchise and the project is complete metroid prime 4 is coming in 2023 also it would be smart to move the release of an hd version of samus returns with some improvements to 2023 although he's possibly just speculating on that point now he goes on to talk about zelda breath of the wild sequel as well and he says the zelda breath of the wild sequel is coming to an end or is the the zelda breath of the wild sequel is coming to an end of the development cycle very soon so they should release the game next year with no delays even if that means a december 2022 release light time and sky are some of the key names that they've used in the development cycle and it will be the main event for next e3 Oracle remakes are going to be coming in 2023 or beyond, and Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD should be released before the end of summer next year, or at least one of them, since I don't know if they're still going to plan to, or still plan to release both as a single pack. Also, he says, and to finish, I've been talking about a new racing game by Nintendo since two to three years ago. The project started as a racing game to be around Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as an alternative 
but not as an actual Mario Kart. But apparently things have changed a little bit since last time I heard about it. The thing is, after the insane sales for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and still selling like hotcakes, Nintendo decided to not release it on Switch and use it as a launch title for the next console as the new Mario Kart, so Mario Kart 9. Even when this game wasn't supposed to be a Mario Kart game at the beginning, not sure how much of the original content will survive at the end, but it will be cool if they still go with the Nintendo All-Star route. See you next year for new info. So essentially what he was saying is, is that this game was going to be kind of like a Super Smash Bros. version, um, a Nintendo Kart kind of game that we've all kind of dreamed of, but never really thought was possible, which also, by the way, lends some credence to a really old 4chan thing I posted about a while ago about a Nintendo Kart, um, which, by the way, came after he talked about some of this stuff as well. So I don't know. If you sit here and just try to digest all this, there is a lot to take in. So I'm going to give you guys a brief moment here to just think about everything I just talked about. So yeah, obviously, wear your tinfoil hats, back the truck loads of salt up, throw it over your right shoulder, uh, just like a dumb and dumber. And kind of see what comes of all of this. I'm really excited about the prospect of what he's talked about here because there is an amazing lineup here that just screams Nintendo is about to do something they've never done and that is give us one of the most insane crazy lineups in 2022 and this isn't even counting things like Project Triangle Strategy which is made by Square Enix and not part of this information because it's not made by Nintendo or has anything to do with Nintendo IP. So there are so many crazy things in this. I'm just getting stupidly exciting thinking about it. I think this is going to be our last rumor leak sort of video of this week and maybe of the rest of 2021 as we head into the holidays here. We got about two weeks left in 2021. We have a bunch of news to come your way. I got a special holiday video with a really crazy hat. I won at a Christmas party that I can't wait to wear for you guys and it, it jingles. It lights up. It's a lot of fun. I can't wait to put that out for you guys uh, and wear a little bit of a Christmas get up. Maybe we'll even bust out the ugly sweaters later this week. We'll see what happens, folks. I'm having a lot of fun as we look forward to the holidays. My children are sitting here watching me record this video because they absolutely love my energy. But it's also getting close for their bedtime. So I'm going to wrap this video up and remind you guys to go ahead after that giveaway. Drop the likes. Hit that subscribe button because I got so much more coming your guys' way in 2022. And yes, we're still trying to hit that 80,000 goal. If we could, if we can hit 80,000 subscribers, screw it. I'm just throwing this out here right now. If we can hit 80,000 subscribers before the end of this month. So by January 1st of 2022, I'm giving someone a thousand dollars. One, zero, zero, zero. One lucky person is going to walk away with a thousand dollars in cold, hard cash but only if we hit 80,000 by the end of the month. So, what are you waiting for? Catch you guys in the next video.